Hello, my name is Darren Murphy and I'm the head of school at Shinju American School in Shinju, Taiwan. Let's go back a little bit to January. It's about the middle of January, the week of January 13th, that we started hearing rumblings about an epidemic spreading in central China. And that was just a week before we were going on Chinese New Year's break. Many of you may know that Chinese New Year's season is the greatest annual migration of people in the world. And of course, we were quite concerned here in Taiwan about all the people that were traveling, especially those who worked in China and would travel back to Taiwan to be with their families during that six or seven day period we know as Chinese New Year's. So we waited to see over the break what we were going to do, how we were going to come out of this period and start school once again. We got to the weekend before the end of the break and it became, became uh, fairly clear that we were going to have to postpone coming back to school. So we po postponed for three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then the government announced that they were going to extend their Chinese New Year's break for two weeks. We were hoping that the measures that we've taken here at our school uh, to keep our students safe and our staff safe, as well as, as, well as the measures that they've taken across the country, uh, we will be able to continue and finish our school year in June as normal. Well, as normal as you can get. Uh, again, we've had to cancel our prom, and we've had to change how we do our graduation ceremony. Uh, we've had to change how we do our spring fair every year just because of social distancing and not wanting outsiders on our campus to spread the virus. But uh, I wanna say a little bit about Taiwan because our success as a school in the middle of this pandemic is also the success of Taiwan. Taiwan took measures very early on to mitigate uh, this virus. Uh, they were watching very closely what was happening in Wuhan, China. And as you know, China's just 100 miles away, so we're right at, at the, in the middle of all this. And they started restricting travel from Wuhan. Uh, they started testing everyone traveling. Uh, they began quarantining or, uh, individuals who were traveling. And eventually, we banned all travel from China, Hong Kong, and Macau. Eventually, uh, we banned all travel internationally for all foreign travelers. And we actually banned our teachers and students from traveling abroad. Here in Taiwan, they've been a very aggressive at putting people in quarantine, uh, isolating those with the virus, and then doing contact tracing. And this has been very important for Taiwan to keep its numbers low, although we are a densely populated country. Taiwan's a country of 23 million people, and of course it's very close to China. But we only at this time, today, have 376 total cases, and only five deaths, although that's tragic, any deaths, of course. Uh, compare this to almost any state in the United States of com comparable size and you can see how we have done in terms of this virus. Of course, that has allowed us as a school to remain open as well as the economy in Taiwan to remain open with most businesses operating normally. But the, the, the Taiwanese citizen has been very much a part of this as well and the people who live here like myself. We, have all, we all wear masks in this country. We all practice just naturally now social distancing. Most of us are not taking unnecessary trips to the store or to crowded areas because we want to get through this and we don't want it to spread in the country and have more drastic effects. So I would say to everyone around the world, look at Taiwan and look at our, our example. And I think you'll see a way that we can, as a world, defeat this virus. I want to thank you again for stopping by and listening to what I have to say today. And I hope in the near future to do this once again and talk about other aspects of our school and international education in Taiwan and how we attempt to prepare our students for the future and to transfer to universities around the world. Um, I wish everybody in the world health and please be safe because this is a very trying time for the world. Thank you very much.